Doom scrolling or brain rot is the act of spending too much time online consuming content that makes you feel sad, angry or anxious. It can also refer to consuming excessive amounts of short form videos or social media content. Look, we all have been there scrolling endlessly, basically doom scrolling. Now I'm not going into details what it does to your mind, but it is a fact that we all want to get rid of this, but we can't. It's like a modern day addiction that you can't live without. It feels good while doing it, but it's not really good. In this video, I'm going to tell you four simple things I recently started doing instead of doom scrolling to regain control of my life. Now coming directly to the point, the first one is Color Therapy Works. I found it very engaging as a creative and mindful exercise instead of scrolling the phone. Basically how it works is every day before leaving the house, I choose a specific color that I'm going to focus on. And as I walk, I look through the subject that has the specific color and make photography with that color. I observe that while doing this, I don't have the urge to scroll social media, and while I'm looking for the scene or details to be photographed, I'm not only distracting my mind to use social media, but also I'm training my mind to be mindful enough. So almost every day how it works on the basis of my daily routine and mood, I change my themes to be photographed like from maybe color to a particular object like a teacup or doing something indoor photography. It's a simple but very effective way to practice some mental exercise, which you of course don't get while doom scrolling your phone. Okay, so the next one is engaging in interesting websites. James Clear, the author of Atomic Habit, says that replacing a bad habit with a better one is often the most effective way to break it. And in this case, I'm just doing that. I can still remember when social media did not become this much popular. On the net, I used to search for interesting websites and recently I started to do that again. And trust me, after doing it, I feel a lot better than scrolling my phone. For example, recently I found this beautiful website called chromeexperiments.com where they visualize more than 10 or 100,000 nearby stars. You can just hover your mouse and zoom through the websites to explore it. It's probably one of the most beautiful things I have recently seen on the web. Or this is my favorite. I found this beautiful website called awards.com, awards with triple W where you can literally find inspiration if you are into design or something creative. They showcase the most beautifully designed websites they found on the net. You can spend hours here observing the creativity that people have to offer. So by doing this, I'm basically replacing my bad habit that is doom scrolling with exploring these kind of websites. You must, must try this. So the next one is conscious cycling. So recently I saw a beautiful video on simplified living in this channel called Seeker, where they give a sweet example of cycling, cycling with an intention. So I was really fascinated by this idea. I loved the process of cycling as when you are cycling, your both hands are engaged. You are fully concentrated on the streets instead of using your phone. So I tried this few months before when I went to a city side and found it really, really useful as it only gives you the opportunity to engage with the outside world and decrease the time you are spending with the screen. You can try this for sure as most of the time our eyes are glued to the screen. This will give you the scope to widen your awareness to the outside place and stay in the present moment. Reading books. Every year at the end of the December when I reflect on how many books have I read, I have always found scenarios like this. Whether I have completed maybe one book or there are probably tens of books that I have not finished. So this year I set a unique and very particular goal for myself of reading three fiction books and four non-fiction books. And the good news is I have already completed one of the goals and I'm in the process of completing the second. With books you are not bombarded with unexpected news or videos of other people's life. As a result, it gives you more control of your emotional state. You know what? And books do not have an algorithm that 
product will make you hooked. It has its own natural process, giving you freedom from endless scrolling. Watching movies. This is a very simple and entertaining one and I don't know why other people are not doing this instead of scrolling the phone. Well, it may sound weird, but I made a rule for myself that watching movies is far healthier than doom scrolling the phone. So whenever I find myself scrolling endlessly in my phone, it subconsciously somehow hit me that at the end of the day, I will feel bad. Then instantly in my free time, instead of doom scrolling, I switch to watching a movie. When you are watching a movie, it is giving you an engaging experience. I feel even if you are watching the movie in your phone, it is not giving you the opportunity to scroll. And if you are watching it in your TV or computer, then I'll suggest you to silence your phone, maybe put it on vibrate mode so that you can attend only simple calls instead of doom scrolling social media. Nowadays, while watching movie instead of just an audience, I like to be mindful watching the other details like the camera techniques, the cinematography, the storytelling method, and generally this is helping me diverting my focus from the phone. Okay, so if you have watched this far, then I want to give you a bonus tip that is doing meditation. Meditation is like hitting a refresh button from the doom scrolling spiral. It can be your go-to medium for chill focus and leveling up your peace of mind. Recently what I'm doing is increasing my daily meditation time to 30 to 40 minutes and I am finding it really amazing. The more you are involved in this practice, the more you'll understand the positive changes it is doing to you. I, I have an entire playlist of meditation. I'll link that below. So that is it. I hope this helped you somehow. Please share this video with at least someone whom you think will find this video helpful. You can comment below if you have applied any other ideas in your life instead of doom scrolling. Subscribe if you haven't already. Meet you soon.